Archer Western, a Phoenix company, did a superb job constructing the wetlands. They moved more than 2,350,000 cubic yards of dirt and installed nearly 25 million tons of riprap stone material to reinforce and protect the embankments and the wetland. You know, you could hear about it, you could see pictures of it, but until you're walking through this man-created environment and you see the type of wildlife and the habitat and then understand that there's an engineered process going on, that's real vision for someone to say, let's try it on a small scale and if it works, let's go big. So to see this today is absolutely amazing. And, and what is even bigger to me is that this is actually the direction that Corps of Engineers is trying to head. Um, historically, we have been, you know, we're going to work on flood control, or we're going to work on environmental, or we're going to work on navigation. And this project actually is really all-encompassing. It's what we're trying to do, I think, as a Corps of Engineers and as a country. We're trying to look at things as a system. This was about not only the environment you heard and all uh, the creativity to, to save taxpayers' dollars, $350 million on that, but also it created jobs, lots of great paying jobs, ongoing jobs and new jobs. In the era, for those that will be watching this and, and seeing this, is what was known as the stimulus funds that others, such as Congressman Pastor and the President and the administration fought for to turn around our depressed economy, and it did create jobs, and a number of us fought for that hard for this very purpose. and. Those critics that said that it wouldn't uh, create the jobs and it wouldn't have long-lasting impact, uh, look at the asset that for generations this whole valley will have. So th this is.